us to another episode in a series of episodes in which we continue looking at the August 2024 Mathematics paper team. If you haven't seen the other episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the right hand side of your screen. In this app, you are going to find a lot of materials that are going to be helpful to you. You are going to find quizzes based on the topical exam pass papers. You are going to find over 10,000 questions with few solutions, instant solution and detailed explanation. We look at question 9a. Given that the universal set E equals open curled bracket 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, close, then set P equals 2, 4, 6, 8, and Q equals 2, 3, 5, 7, list P complement intersection Q. So again here this question always comes, there is a question that will involve finding the intersection, dealing with complements and the, the normal sets. So it's the matter of understanding that complements means the elements that are not found in that set. So if you have this set A, B, then we have the universal set, A complement is anything outside A, that's A complement. So it's that principle that we need to understand. So let us find P complement. So we're looking for elements that are found in the universal set, but they are not in P. So if you look at P, so P there is 2, 4, 6, 8. So in the universal set, we just take out those. So we're going to have a 1, then a 2 is in P. So because 2 is in P, we are not getting it. So we skip 2. So we go to 3. Then 4 is in P, we skip it, so we go to 5. Then we know that 6 in P, so we are skipping 6, so we are going to 7. Then 8 is in P, we are skipping, so we are going to go to 9. So if we are we're looking for the elements that are not found in P, but they are found in the universal set. So taking a speaking, we are deleting this from the universal set, delete this, Delete this and delete that. So what it means is what we give us to be P complement. So always when you're finding a complement of the set, you just see what is in that set. Then you remove them from the universal set. What it means is a complement of that set. Then we look for Q. So Q have already been given. So it's easier to list them next to each other. So Q is a 2, 3, 5, 7. Like that. Then let us look for the element that are found in it both of these sets, which is the intersection. So intersection is anything that is found in these two sets. So what is common? We know there is a 3, there is a 3, 5, 5, 7, 7. So we have 3, 5, 7. So this is the answer. So here we just write 3, 5, 7. Don't forget the set symbols. So once you do this, you are good to go, you get that one mark. Let us look at question B9. The diagram below shows trapezium S and the trapezium T. Describe fully a single transformation which maps trapezium S onto trapezium T. So we know this is a transformation. So if it's transformation, the first thing that we need to ask ourselves is, are the areas of these two shapes maintained. So if they are maintained, then it's not enlargement, it's not a stretch. That's the first thing. So we eliminate those out. Then are the angles, respective angles preserved? So let us compare. So this angle and this angle, they are the same. Then this angle and this angle, they are the same. Then this angle and this angle are the same. Then this angle and this angle are the same. So you notice that everything is preserved in terms of the angles and the sides. These are preserved. So if that's the case, let us think of either deflection or translation. Meaning the movement. So in this case, the other question that we need to ask ourselves are the faces of these two facing each other. Are they facing in each other? 
yes they are facing each other so you notice that this side and this side are facing each other meaning this should be a reflection but the mirror line should be halfway the distance of the two so you notice that the mirror line is this line this distance is the same as in this distance then this distance and this distance are identical so in that case we know that is a reflection so if it's reflection we need to describe it using two things we say it's a reflection then what's the next thing the miller line the miller line completes the description for us to describe this food so we know that it is a reflection with Miller line what's the line this one this is along the x-axis so along this is y is equal to zero so if the Miller line y is equal to zero once you do that you are good to go you get these two marks so thank you for joining me in this episode join me in the next episode as we look at question 10